Hello and welcome to Cutaneous Lymphoma Treatment video series presented to you by Cutaneous Lymphoma Foundation. My name is Neda Nickbacht and I run the Dermatology Cutaneous Lymphoma Clinic at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital in Philadelphia. In this second video of this six part video series, we will talk about skin directed therapies used for patients with limited or localized skin involvement. We will start with topical steroids. If you are a patient with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, you are familiar with these drugs. Topical steroids are the most common treatments used in early stage CTCL. And they're also used as adjunct to other topical or systemic therapies at all stages of CTCL. Many formulations exist. They can come as ointments, creams, or lotions, and they can exhibit high, medium, or low potency. An example of a strong or high potency topical steroid is clobetazole ointment. And an example of a medium potency topical steroid is triamcinolol. Topical steroids are helpful in alleviating symptoms of itching and redness. A typical application dose can be twice daily for two weeks, then taking a break for two weeks. But many alternative regimens exist, including a once a week application regimen. While some consider mycosis fungoides a cancer resistant to topical steroids, there is evidence that topical steroids can be effective in CTCL. Indeed, when we reviewed 37 patients of all stages of mycosis fungoides who received topical steroids alone, meaning as monotherapy, in our center, we found that 73% of patients improved with an average 65% decrease in body surface area involvement. 33% of these patients had a complete response with prolonged topical steroid use. We also observed that female gender and early stage disease were associated with better response to topical steroids. The side effects of topical steroids are generally limited to skin and their prolonged use can cause thinning of the skin or atrophy, stretch marks, or purpura, which are purple colored spots on the skin among others. To avoid these side effects, we need to use an alternate application regimen that involves break times from topical steroid use. We also need to avoid high potency steroids application on delicate areas of skin, such as face or genitals. Another topical treatment for CTCL is meclorethamine that is sold as brand name Balclor in the United States. Meclorethamine or topical nitrogen mustard is a cytotoxic, meaning a cell killing agent, which is FDA approved for early stage CTCL. Topical meclorethamine can kill cancer cells in the skin, but is not systemically absorbed. Responses may be achieved in up to 72% of patients with early stage mycosis fungoides. Some patients may develop an allergic rash. Topical bexerotin or targretin gel is a vitamin A derived agent from a family of drugs called retinoids. It can be used on some stubborn early stage lesions. The skin irritation is the most common side effect 
and it can be combined with topical steroids to reduce irritation. Localized radiation therapy can be used in patients who have limited skin involvement. Skin directed radiation is a method to kill cancer cells in the skin. Localized or spot treatment is delivered to CTCL lesions resistant to other topical treatments, such as stubborn tumors. And it is also used for some subtypes of cutaneous B-cell lymphomas. 